In this video, we'll be taking a look at some German stereotypes to find out if they're true or not. And if you're interested, you can find more info about German culture and language on blog.lingoda.com or via the link in the description. Let's start with the first stereotype. Germans love garden gnomes. If you walk around German gardens, you'll probably come across lots of decorations, particularly garden gnomes or Gartenzwerge, which means garden dwarfs. The reason that Germans have gnomes and their garden varies depending on who you talk to. Some say that originally they were used to ward off evil spirits, but the most likely reason is that they're just trendy. Today more than 25 million garden gnomes continue to protect Germany's gardens. So I wouldn't necessarily say that all Germans love garden gnomes, but they are popular. Our next stereotype is that Germans wear socks with sandals. This is more of a fashion choice rather than a stereotype. This fashion choice is usually associated with geek culture. And since video games are becoming more and more popular lately, it's not surprising to see a lot of Germans identifying with this style. Next up, Germans often go nude. This is kind of true, but this does not mean all Germans love going nude. It's just more socially acceptable, especially because of Freikörperkultur, which translates to free body culture and the government is very relaxed when it comes to nudity. There are even nude beaches and parks where everyone is encouraged to walk around in the nude. So yes, there is some truth to the stereotype. Our next stereotype is that Germans love high tech. And no, this one isn't really true. After all, not all Germans are techy. It is believed that this stereotype comes from their success in engineering and technology. After all, it's a country known for their excellent engineers and innovation. Our next stereotype is that all Germans value literature. While I can't speak for everyone, it's certainly true that German culture values education and intellectual pursuits. Names like Goethe and Schiller are well known around the world, and literary movements like Romanticism are rooted in Germany. In fact, they call themselves a Nation der Dichter und Denker, a nation of poets and intellectuals. And speaking of literature, you can learn more about German culture over at blog.lingoda.com. Next, Germans are good at saving money. This used to be true, but arguably it does not apply anymore. More and more Germans have been spending their money instead of saving it lately. It could be a lot of things, but the most likely suspects here are the interest rates and inflation. And finally, Germans take recycling seriously. Yes, this is very true. Germans manage their rubbish meticulously. They sort everything carefully and even have color-coded bins. I'm not really sure why that is such a serious thing, but maybe Germans just like recycling. Whatever stereotype you hear, it's important to know that Germany is a diverse and rich country and they're not all the same. And the stereotypes on this list don't apply to all Germans. And learning more about German culture can clear up any misconceptions you might have. Lingoda can help you with that. You can check out the Lingoda website via the link in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more language learning content. Tschüss!